Welcome to this overview of DMX Control Pro. In this video, you'll get a brief explanation of the possibilities of the app. When you start the app, you'll see a rather traditional window with 64 channel faders, 24 preset faders and 3 master faders controlling the corresponding sections. The channel faders are quite straightforward, they control a single DMX channel. With a fresh show file, they connect to the first 64 DMX channels. To set a precise value to a fader, right-click on the fader and select Set to Value. Now you can type your desired value and the fader will set to that. It's also possible for a channel fader to ignore the master fader. Simply right-click on the fader and select Ignore Master. Now if you slide the master fader down, the channel remains turned on. To store a setting of channel faders to a preset channel, simply click the right mouse button on a preset channel and click Create Preset from Channels or Create Preset from All. With the latter, you can create a preset from the current DMX output, including preset faders. To show or change the preset, right click on the preset fader and select Preset to Channels. The selected preset is now up on the channel faders again, so you can change the preset. To save, right-click again and select Create Preset from Channels. All channel and preset faders can have a background color to assist navigating with, for instance, RGB devices. Right-click on the desired fader to set a background color. You can also select multiple faders with a command key or shift key on your keyboard. DMX Control Pro features a patch bay to cover one DMX universe. Simply connect a channel fader to a DMX channel by typing the desired channel next to the desired DMX channel. You can also set a not connected DMX channel to a set value by typing the desired value into the value field. DMX Control Pro also features a theater-style Q-Stack with an unlimited amount of scenes. Add a blank scene to get started. To save the current channels to a scene, press Save Channels to Scene. To save the current DMX output containing channels, active presets and active scenes, press Save DMX Output to Scene. If you want to change the scene, press Selected Scene to Channels. Change the value of the channel faders and press Save Channels to Scene again. To delete a scene, press Clear Scene. The Scene window is controlled by a master fader. There is also a crossfader to manually fade between scenes. The Go buttons use the fade time set in the scene. You can use Reverse to change the direction of the Go button. The Go To field let you select a scene from the stack directly. When you press return, the set fade time will be used. An additional tutorial about the audio and video files is linked in the info card above. Almost every button and fader of DMX Control Pro is controllable by any MIDI device or bindable to a key on your keyboard. Connecting a MIDI device to a button or fader is simple. Just right-click on the button or fader and select MIDI Learn and press the desired MIDI button or move the MIDI fader. To remove this connection, press MIDI Remove. To bind a key to a button, right-click and press Hotkey Learn, press the desired key and you're done. To remove, press Hotkey Remove. This concludes a brief overview of DMX Control Pro. If you have any questions, visit our website lightning-dmxcontrol.com. Thanks for watching.